soon enough we are going to be getting all the time face cams and RGB lights in the background. So, yeah. Today what I do want to talk about is this extremely low pressure area in the United States around South Dakota. Earlier it was way lower, but it kind of stretches out a lot. I mean, you know, 986 is not that bad, but this is kind of like right in the middle of nowhere. It's not like in the ocean or in Antarctica or something like that. I mean, this this is like <clears throat> This is bad. So, you know, we've gotten these out now every now and then, but this one kind of stands out a lot. It's big and low pressure is way lower earlier on. And I'm going to go show you that. So we go back here. See, so it's like 984. And then like this morning, 985, 985. Yeah, about, about the lowest of like 984. <laughs> But 984, I mean, like, this is just, like, Bismarck, you know, North Dakota, South Dakota. I mean, that's, like, really bad. So, yeah. Oh, and also, guys, please do not forget to subscribe if you really do like weather, because that's what we do today. And I just, you know, I just like that stuff. So, that would be great if you guys could just subscribe and you can go to my other channel it's a gaming channel i recently started it it only has three subscribers so that'd be nice if you could go subscribe to that i mostly do geometry dash um and minecraft and sometimes some other random games so anyway that's it and let's get right back into the video okay so yeah um not only is this producing really low pressure and possible tornadoes but it is also producing um, precipitation. So obviously this is not as not anywhere near to as bad as what happened in Oklahoma and Missouri. That was horrible. But it's probably part of the aftermath, which is really bad. So right here we have some 0.29 inches. It's a wide, not that the rain is bad, but it's a wide area. It's like a really wide area. I mean, look at that, stretching, like, all the way across Canada here. All the way through Saskatchewan. Did I spell that? Let me say that correctly. Saskatchewan. 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 Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right correctly. But it does go through, um, like, half of Saskatchewan and, of Saskatchewan and even, what did I just do? And even a little bit into Alberta, and also maybe like three eighths of Alberta, maybe half. That's really bad. And what's even worse is that it's raining, not snowing. I mean, like I get it; it's kind of getting into summer, but all the way up there is not even snowing. That's what I'm saying. I don't really care about that here. But the temperatures really should be getting below freezing. I see it everywhere around it. So, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. But I'm just pointing that out. Now, if we look into the satellite, as you can see, you can, like, easily see that. With no problem. I mean, it looks a little weird. But as you can see, those clouds are quite high. So, it's looking a little cumulonimbus right here. As you can see that shadow. Maybe, um, maybe stratocumulus, but I would say cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus or stratonimbus, um, maybe cumulus stratus, but something like that. Um, it's pretty hard to tell just from radar. But that's basically it for today's video, and remember to look forward to my other stuff, and remember, do not forget to subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but like, you know, it would be pretty nice. I'm only at like 71 subscribers, so yeah. Um, and I'll see you in the next Road of the Rainbow.